Welcome to JSA TV, where we're covering the latest news, trends, and innovations from thought leaders from within the digital infrastructure space. And we are coming at you live. This is, however, my last live interview of the day. And I've, and I've got my new friend, Mr. Zach Bobroff. Zach is the CPO of AMI on the right side of me. He's in the hot seat for the final, the final interview of, of the show. How's the show going for you? The show's going great. I mean, lots of vendors. The show continues to grow back to its pre-COVID levels, which I'm right. excited about. Yeah. And you can see, obviously, AI having a big focus uh, as it is across the entire industry. As it is, yeah. And you, you also see the rise of all of these new hardware vendors. No one vendor can really be your supplier for all your technology needs. You're preaching, yeah. So uh, what we're really bringing to the situation from AMI is a vendor agnostic management tool so that you can use it across all of the different hardware manufacturers that exist today, whether it be OEMs or ODMs. Let's let's talk about that. For our viewers that don't already know, why don't you tell them a little bit about AMI? You guys have got some history there too, yeah? Good point. Yeah, I yeah. mean, AMI has been a long standing company in the technology industry. We've been around since 1984. We're mainly known for our firmware products, whether it be BIOS to boot up your system or BMC firmware to manage your system. But now we're also expanding beyond that to offer uh, more best in class management solutions for servers at large. Uh, so as we kind of bridge that gap, we're trying to raise awareness for what we're doing. And yeah. it's very well paired with the industry today. Yeah. So you, uh, you, you just said uh, as we try to bridge that gap. Um, I imagine you're probably helping a lot of the people on the show floor bridge their own gaps. That's true as well. Yeah. yeah. As they move to that multi-vendor environment, you're no longer just buying all of your hardware from one vendor. That's right. You now need to have a homogenous view of your heterogeneous data center. <laughs> Those are big words and I understand both of them. <laughs> yeah, I'm working on it. I'm working <laughs> Fantastic. But you, you need to see a single pane of glass and a single way to view all of your different hardware. There would be for AI, compute, storage, all sorts of things in the data center these days. And so um, did, did you find that uh, the, the folks that are on the floor, are, are these, like who's, who's, your, who's your bullseye customer? Who's our bullseye customer? That's, yeah. that's a great question. I would say our bullseye customer is somebody who's moving into their next data center. Uh -huh. They're trying to design it in a way that they've they've never thought of it before uh -huh. with this multi-vendor CDUs, yeah. uh, power shelves. It's getting quite complex to design your data center. You can't just go to a one-stop shop anymore. Forget about it. Yes, exactly. So our, our ideal customer is somebody who's looking to make the tough decisions as they move to their next level of compute and problem solving. So um, I, I don't know if, if, if you guys have a play here, but the, immediately I'm thinking like you guys kind of sit, you know, there, there are these new constructions, mm -hmm. right? And and some of them may or or may not be uh, incorporating new te technologies and things like that. But what about, what about like retrofitting legacy uh, infrastructure and, and facilities like that? Is it, has that been some place uh, where you all fit? Is it, you know, you have a play there? Since we're a pure software play, we absolutely fit in that space yeah. as well. If you're bringing in CDUs or you're adding more of them and you need to pair that with your your new hardware. Yeah. It, it sounds silly to think of, but when you got one of these $300,000 AI servers, yes. you need to manage it better than you did your $3,000 server. And when you're turning it on, it's not only checking is the power good. You need to check to make sure that the CDU is running uh, water through it and things like this. Yeah. So it becomes a more complicated scheme that you need to solve. And with these types of solutions, it makes it easier. Outstanding. Okay, final question. Uh, let's get get out our crystal ball. Um, where do you, where's it all going? Because I, I'll, I'll be honest with you, uh, Zach. A lot, of, maybe fifty percent of what I'm hearing uh, from folks in that seat is still maybe a couple of years down 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 the way. Um, where's it all going long term? A very good question as well. I mean. The infrastructure of data centers has been growing at a rapid pace that yeah. I don't think anybody can keep up with, let alone uh, follow in totality, right? So where is it all going? It's going to be a bumpy, rough ride that we're all going to get dragged along. Yeah. But you're going to need solutions and you're going to have to look across the entire industry to find them. Because again, no one vendor can be your provider for all of your needs in general. Yeah. So I, I would say it's going to take a lot of conferences like this. Yeah a lot of group thought and innovation amongst the industry to to figure out where we're going, but it's gonna be going faster, stronger, better, uh, and everything like that. Yeah, you know, your analogy, uh, we're gonna be uh, getting kind of dragged along. 
That's true. Yeah. I mean, because because it isn't a race anymore. It's a relay. And every one of these people have a play within the ecosystem, yourselves included. Yeah. And and we all have to have our together in order for the next person yep. to take it to take it further. So, um, hey, listen, thanks for being here. Thanks for being my, my final interview of the day. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Thank you. You bet. You bet. And thank you, viewers, for watching JSA TV. We'll see you soon.